today we're going to try a few new things. Most exciting one is this Victoria Beckham's eyeshadow palettes. My husband brought me over. Very, very excited. But at the same time, we were going to try the Passional Lover, the, uh, their new concealer palette. I really love the primer, which they got. Uh, the foundation was a little bit iffy, but excited to try their concealer palette. It's very, very hyper. And so far, all the feedback has been extremely positive. Last one is the Out of Office. I think this is a lip liner. We we'll open it together. I prep my face and that star from the concealer. First of all, I'm really, really liking the packaging. Look. Okay, look how sleek this one is. It's very slim. Very pretty. Good quality, good weight. Inside is like this. They have the like color card to tell you what color it is small mirror come with they have the like light brightening color more salmon based more skin color this motor was orange i think no more 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 skin color more skin color this is like a muddy green which i heard oh it's really really creamy which i heard a great thing about it is to correcting and to cover these spot marks like this when I just touch the surface, it seems just like melted in straight away. I think if it's summertime, you may want to keep it in a slightly cooler area. <laughs> Otherwise, I think it will literally melt. This green is very interesting. It's gray, muddy green. With this palette, they give you two little, they call sleeper puff <laughs> and a brush. This is the concealer brush that come with. More probably good for the under eye area. Okay, let's do this side of face as I have more acne marks here. Here. Firstly, as usual for the eyes, I'm going to use this more salmon base color, just a little bit. Let's see the coverage. Oh. You know what? Let me change to the puff as my eye bag is quite big. <laughs> Based on first impression, I think the color is good. It doesn't look too orange, but it's sinking to the lines. Right here. I think it's because of the formula of this one. It's a little bit too creamy. The color is good. The coverage is also quite good. Okay, let's use the muddy green. I'm going to tap a little bit on here and let's cover this area. Let me change the brush. It just seems like this one is so easy to be removed. It's not as... Um, glued it on as my other concealer. But I have to say, I really like the color. You can see it doesn't turn too art. It can be easily corrected or not corrected. That can be easily look natural after applying foundation. It doesn't look green, doesn't look muddy, doesn't look too ashy. I think the formula would work for certain type of skin conditions, but certainly not mine like this i have to just leave as it is not to touch it as soon as you touch it or blend it out it just disappeared the coverage i expect this to be disappeared after i apply foundation to be honest uh, look at this side it looks way much better especially the eyes area obviously this side i have less acne marks but this to compare before and after it looks okay now, but I think it will definitely, definitely disappear or I have to reapply after the foundation. One thing I've noticed that worked well with pores. Because you look at here, 
is not sinking to the pools. Now I finish the foundation. I think, as expected, he's back again. It's the best I can get. It already gets a little bit cakey on the area now, so I don't want to just continue build it up. It's start appearing again after applied powder. So yeah, this is mm, mm. okay. Come to the most exciting item, which is the. Victoria's Beckham's eyeshadow palettes. Uh, this one my husband bought me because he is here. Um, he's sleeping next door as so he got a bit jet lagged, but uh, he will be appearing in my, one of my videos at least. He's only stay for two weeks, but we hope go back to UK in August, which is very good. And this time I asked him to buy this eyeshadow palette as well as Van Gogh's one of the face palette, but that one didn't arrive on time. But I'll get the one back to UK. It's very, it's way much smaller than I expected, but heavier than I expected. It's really small. I'm sure this is an old product. It's not. It's nothing new in the market, but it's very, um, very luxury feel. Very luxury feel inside. I've chose the most the classic color. Oh, the powder is fine, but powder, powder, like dry powder. From the swatches, it's definitely my cup of tea. Although when I look from the palette, uh, it looks like those two would have like more sheen finish. But when it's actually applied on the skin, it's, it looks matte. Matte, yeah. Uh, it will be a simple look. There are quite a bit of fallout. The base colour just look a little bit too like my own skin. My own skin colour. Let's apply this one then. Then use the lighter pink in the middle. This Barbie pink, like per se, coral Barbie pink in the middle, is hinted, like hinted color showing on my eyelid. is actually a not bad thing because if it's too barbie pink I don't think I would like it I haven't done the lashes or the liner yet the, um, the first impression of Victoria this eyeshadow palette I think is very normal from the powder quality the blendability they are good don't get me wrong but it's not surprisingly good or personally feel to match the price line from colors perspective well I chose the most common one I I give that but overall just really nothing special really really common very very common nothing special yeah nothing special I think now it looks better with mascara, everything on. Last item is out of office. This is the lip liner. My typical coral color. Lip liner, I like it. It's very smooth, very easy to be drawn on the lip and also very easy to maneuver and over drawing the lip shape. And the color itself is very, very natural. Very, very good type of shady nude, especially for my skin tone. 
So, in summary, Passional Lovers Concealer Palette from the color design itself, the formula is good, especially the color design. It's not overpowering, it's friendly for beginners even to use before and after the foundation. And there are better choices in the way that they have this good ashy gray green muddy color, which is very easy to correct in the redness as well as the blemish marks. However, the formula itself is too creamy, at least on my face, based on first impression, to be actually glued and stayed in the area I need. It kind of moved after I applied the foundation, then get the moved again after applying with the powder. So, and the, this salmon color did sink into the lines of my under eye area. So overall, based on first impression, I'm still seeing a comsy comsa. It's disappointed in the way that I felt it wasn't as good as it was shown on Adver or people raising about it. Victoria Beckham's eyeshadow palettes, the packaging and the opening, that the design, the overall design is really, really good. It matches is Victoria Beckham's brand standard. However, the powder quality, the pigmentation, the blendability and the whole color design and the combination itself is very average very, very average. There is nothing really personally feel that outstanding. I, I think I didn't set my expectation right. I think I was too excited when I see this was launched and I wanted so badly and I couldn't get it. Then when I received it, it has the, you know, the gap between your expectation and the actual performance is very, very average. It's not ugly at all. It's a very, very natural day-to-day go-to eyeshadow palettes. There is nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit common. Today's winner is actually the Out of Office Lip Liner. I just add a little bit of lip gloss on other than that. It's really nice. Very, very nice base color as well as to use it on its own. Hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down here and I will see you on my next one.